This playthrough is rated T for teen. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Well, we're back here with another episode of Front Mission 3. In the last episode, we finished getting out of the sewers and were attacked by the imaginary numbers who apparently attacked their allies and then fled off like with their tail between their legs. But obviously, we don't know all the details, despite us. The players know, but the, uh, the actual characters don't. But uh, for now, we can't take that into account. we got to save the, the commander here, so hopefully he made it in time. Um, oh, what voice did I give her? Crap. <laughs> I forgot. I think it was just supposed to be a sed seductive voice, quote-unquote. Commander Isagai? Who are you? I'm Meyer Edward of CIU. We're under Asao Takamura's orders to rescue you. Colonel Takamura? Is he fighting the coup? Yes. He'd like you to come with us. Yeah, we're just strangers, but go ahead and come with us anyways. So he took action. Tell Colonel Takamura for me. I must decline his offer. Why? If we leave the coup forces alone? Now this is kind of weird. I thought they were allies already, or at least had a, you know, working relationship. Apparently not. I will not fight. It's foolish to fight against your own people. I mean, I could kind of respect that to an extent. But I understand that. I won't change my mind. Yeah, some people can be pacifists as long as there's some other people in the world willing to fight for what they believe in. So, you're gonna ignore everything? You selfish bastard! <laughs> well, at least Kazuki tells it like it is. Stop it, Kazuki. But I mean, he's a hot-headed uh, young Japanese man. So, Kazuki, you're Kazuki. I see. I can't order my subordinates to attack their colleagues. I'm sure Takamaru will understand. Dot, dot, dot. You remain neutral then. I only follow the government's orders, whether it's the one or the uh, this one or the new one. Now that's a that's a really stupid mindset because you know government governments can be corrupted, power corrupts absolutely type of thing. You know, he's definitely a lawful neutral type of character, that's for sure. Okay, are you sure? He told us how he honestly feels. That's enough. Feelings? We're leaving feelings in this game of war and and strife. <laughs> well, at least he believes in himself. Yeah. So, Commander Taka... Uh, I don't even remember what voice I gave this guy. So, Taka Commander Isagai didn't become our ally. If we can get Colonel Takamura to talk to him. Isagai is just as stubborn as the Colonel. We won't change his mind. Our mission failed? I mean, that's what it seems like she's saying with exclamation point question right there. What do we do now? We're sitting ducks. Not, necessar uh, not necessarily. As long as his division remains neutral, the coup forces can't move to the Kensai area. He's not an ally of the coup forces. Yes, we succeed in limiting the enemy movements. We're still outnumbered. Yeah, but we got levels, dude. Yeah, so Crown Takamura fails. We lose before we begin fighting. Don't worry, Kazuki. Colonel Takamura will come through for us. Wait, is he some genius tactician or something? Da da da. Hmm. It's hard to say. Yep, on to our next destination. Yeah, all that work and the guy just goes, No, nah, I'm not going to join you. It depends on the war. Uh, like a middleman or pacifist making sense. Like Sometimes there's some clear and obvious... I mean, I hate to say it, but some uh, like most of the world is gray. But every once in a while, there's a clear, obvious villain and, and hero. Not doesn't happen often because war is often political uh, to some extent. You know, people send their uh, their own people to war over something that they care about, not that the people themselves care about. Well, I mean, look at a lot of European wars, for God's sakes. You know, I mean, I'm talking about back in the day, like before our time. You know, centuries ago. Still. Get moving. I almost forgot. <laughs> it's been so long since I played this. Like, I mean, other than the last episode, I almost forgot about this. The enemy could, could attack at any moment. Yeah, I forgot they were allies. Is this the last attachment? Yes, Rebecca and Hatari are dealing with the other units. But they should have arrived in Fukushima by now. Almost there, too. To meet up with the 6th Division. The Rudolph, here they come! Imaginary numbers. It just seems to get worse by the minute. Too bad they don't actually move like that in the actual game. Well, I mean, I mean they do in uh, Front Mission 
Evolution? But that's more of a Armored Core type of game than anything. Man, I gotta play Armored Core again. Those games were fun. <laughs> uh, target confirmed! All units begin attack! Eliminate all targets! I mean, that seems pretty obvious, but... Enemy commander is a potential threat to the plan! But Colonel, I think they want you. For dinner. No. They're going uh, for the head to make the rest of the job easier. What do they say? Take out the head of the snake. Should we take him out? No, the Wuhan will lead our units back to Fukushima. I'll hold them off. You're the leader, dude. If you die. I mean, okay, if a leader dies, not it doesn't always... Uh, places don't always collapse when a leader dies, because usually they have plans to place when someone dies, but morale still takes a huge hit. You know? Are you stupid? They're after you. I know. If I'm their target, they won't go after you. That's still stupid. You are going to use yourself as bait. I mean, these guys probably don't care as much because they're still getting paid. So, we must preserve our forces. Is that, that is my job. What is your job? You're crazy. I like you. No, it's suicide. Are you sure about this? Yes, now go. I use my voice. All right. <laughs> yeah, it's not like they're going to argue. It's like, oh, whatever, get paid. Rudolph. Red is ready. That's the boss's orders. <laughs> boss's order. Let's go. Thank you. Good luck. No, we don't, we never see the forewarn or uh, yeah, luck from him. This means bad times ahead. Forget it. I just don't like arguing. I'll see you at the machine. Colonel, please wait. You can't fight them alone. Let's fight with you. Under the under the condition that you will not waste your lives. Yes, sir. Looks well, like looks like Kazuki's dad's already in his own hot mess. And where are we at our own moment? Are we heading there or not? Yes, maybe. I don't know. We're approaching. We're approaching Sendai Harbor. Kuro Takamura should have merged with the Sixth Division by now. Final battle. Can here. A dispatch? Which part is it? Shut up and listen. Okay, then we can set up and whatever, but yeah, we, there's no reason. I mean, if you need to save after this, but you can just press start to go through the dial if you want to. Is it you, Rudolph? Listen up, Kazuki. Head to Sendai now. What do you mean? There was a surprise attack by the imaginary numbers. Your father is fighting them as a decoy. What? What the heck is that idiot thinking? Yeah, and it is like you. Like father, like son. Cats in the cradle. No. Hurry up if you don't want to attend his funeral. Captain! I know. Full speed to Sendai Harbor. Will we make it in time? Now, usually in most modern wars, wars can, like, a lot of fights can end pretty quickly. To, well, actually, it kind of depends. If it's guerrilla fighting, yeah, it can take forever because most people aren't stupid to just like stand out in the middle of a field and get shot at. That was what they did back in colonial times, and that's why the British got beat by the by the, the Americans. Oh well, with some luck, obviously. But they would just st they would use old-fashioned honorable tactics to stand out in a field and shoot people while the Americans were like hiding in trees and sniping them and stuff like that. I mean, sure they had the numbers. They probably would have eventually won if if not for like a few. A few. I mean, obviously, I can't. I can't relegate the whole American civil or uh, American Revolution down to like a few tactics, you know. But Colonel, we'll make an escape path for you. What are you talking about? I can't leave you all behind. Yeah, he said something. Didn't he say something about not wasting their lives? Dude, you don't shoot. I mean, okay, never mind. they're pretty persistent. Yeah, that guy sucked. We'll focus our attack to finish them off. Colonel, we can't hold out much longer. Please escape. How can I hope to save Japan when I can't even save you? You don't, It looks like you don't even have that really much of a customized mech, so, you know, some technology is important sometimes. Don't give up hope, no matter what. Oh, they're falling down, bit by bit. Even Salvo isn't helping them, or at least it looks like they're using Salvo. I guess this is it. Even if I die, there's still Kazuki and his friends. 
Yeah, it seems he believes in his son, but Kazuki doesn't believe in his dad. Exclamation point? Father! Colonel, these are mighty brave words. Or those are mighty brave words. I like that, man. Ooh la la. Exclamation point, question mark. He's getting hit on by a chick. No. What are you getting all chivalrous about? I feel like gagging. We'll handle the rest. Pull out. That's what she said. I should have gone there, sorry. All of you, pull out first. But Colonel! Go on ahead. I must see how he has matured. Yes, sir. Please be careful. What are you doing? I thought I told you to get out of here. Or are you scared stiff, old man? Oh, he didn't actually. Are you joking? I can't trust you to handle the situation. Uh, they really just don't want to admit that they that they care about each other. Uh, I'll have I'll have a hand to deal with this problem. Stupid geezer! It's not going to be my fault if you eat it. <laughs> I forgot that was a phrase for dying: is, is bite the dust, eat it, stuff like that. They get along pretty well, don't they? They're both so stubborn. They're just they're just like immature children. Maybe. But they care about each other. All right, this one, this one's kind of a tough one to get a platinum on because of of random events could occur during the fight, like in terms of skills activating. But we'll get to that when we get to that. All right, let's go with. Do I want to go with the class? Well, it's really hard to like warrant putting Liu in because of. Although I don't think this one has a. Never text twenty five. I guess I could still use him. I was just, it's been getting less and less reason to use uh, Lee, a, a sniper character out of all, all of them now. Now I'd rather either use like a missile or someone else. I, I haven't even turned I haven't even turned Miho back into a sniper as she's designed to be, at least from her stat or from her build is supposed to be because just you know just one shot one hit just doesn't, isn't as effective. Anyway, um, uh, this one's tough if you use melee fighters because of of uh, other melee users. Um, uh, let's see, D rank. Uh, I'm trying to think if I want to use fam again or if I want to swap out. Oh yeah, I did some grinding off screen for uh, um, Lan and um, Mayor. Got their AP up. Although I realized that Alyssa has her. Um, yeah, we'll use Alyssa. Uh, yeah, we'll use we'll use the two related to uh, um, the character here. I don't think I want to do multiple melees in this fight. Uh, and we'll use Ryogo. Yeah. Yeah, so. That's probably not the best group, but that's just one. All right, we want to use Piercing. If you have a melee, um, put the put Impact on him. Uh, yeah. I probably I probably put maybe should put one more one more long range. All right, this fight we need to eliminate six enemies. Within 25 attacks, average damage 115 at, at weapon level 15 within eight turns. The uh, the uh, difficult thing about this fight is we have to protect Isao here, so he can't die. So it's uh, kind of an escort mission here. Um, but yeah, it it is possible for him to get taken out pretty easily. Um, let's see what we got here though. Well, you know. Anyway, uh, we've got a uh, Oshahan. Uh, well, basically just a helicopter, missiles, and all that fun stuff. No skills. Yeah, they usually never give skills to the to the uh, uh, helicopter users. And we got two of those, and then we've got yeah some uh, shun wings and uh, lays here. Um, the shun wings they have machine guns, but I think it's, maybe it's the lays on this one. Okay, yeah, this is where the fight can get dangerous, is because of the revenge skill. This is three, so I think it's 200% damage increase or something like that for if with the counterattack. So yeah, that can really this, uh, average damage is where I'm, you may or may not get a platinum first time around. Um, I think both the shun wings have that, don't they? Yep, revenge three, and then the lays have other than the melee, they have uh, melee times three, same thing as. Uh, well, I don't know if they do it by 200% or times 2.0 or whatever. Anyway, it's it's almost a 200% increase in damage. They can almost one-shot any mech that's under 900 uh, HP, which I think all of us are under. Kazuki could survive it without impact armor, but everyone else would get one-shotted if they got lucky. I think both of them have um, melee. Yeah, that's that's the difficult part about this fight is, is that 
Uh, I don't want to do this. I got anti-fire. All right, sorry for that little little cut there. Uh, <laughs> little little something I had to take care of, but we're back. All right, let's uh, save us out. Uh, yeah, I mentioned after describing all the people there, just yeah, the he should. From what I understand, I believe he's supposed to fly back afterwards. So we at least need to get everyone um, kind of in a, a line would be the best way. That way, um, because the enemy is going to target him specifically. So we have to make sure the only the only real threat that I mean this could be tough because of the the stats. But if as long as we um, make sure Asao doesn't get like, you know, oh come on, no no like great fire. No, no. Um, but as long as uh, they don't get past us, we should be fine. So probably the best way is just to make like a, a decent line here. Um, why don't we sit turn? Well, less damage on the sow, so. Ooh, still plus one. All right, cool. So yeah, the the tough the tough thing about this fight will be the the damage, as I mentioned earlier. So, but the sound dying shouldn't happen if you know what you're doing. At least have a rough idea. So yeah, as soon as he gets here, the most damage he should take is maybe one of the shun wings going forward and using um, their machine gun. Yeah, but after that, we'll be we'll be good as gravy. I mean, it is possible to get have him take no damage, which isn't that important, but. We wanted there to be there basically for the purposes of uh, doing extra damage. So for those who we should be able to defeat these guys within so many turns or whatever, but the eight turns or within the uh, twenty-five attacks or whatever. Can I miss a little? Can I get? I think I should be able to. Um, don't want to take it out. But if she salvos, I don't want to use all that ammo on him. And he's the immediate threat since he can um, slip the machine gun. Yeah. She doesn't seem to activate salvo as much. Mayor seems to do that more often than her. Maybe it's because I have panic shot and stuff like that, so it's using it as that the, the next best thing or whatever. Ready to fire? Oh, yeah. Yeah, AP 30% seems to activate quite often on the, the Kazel legs. Good, good, uh, good ability to have. Although I probably should have equipped it to him, but. I could, no. They, oh, they both have anti 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 I was gonna—I was gonna have Mayor um, fight the other one, but if we can take that guy out, I don't know if she'll finish him off. But should be able to, just because with his legs being kind of made, he's like dropping nothing. Ow! Right. Yeah, he's gotta help us with that. So I think the only thing we'll have to worry about is the helicopter moving forward. And missling him, but it should. Oh, right. Of course. There. Okay, so this ain't the most optimal way to do this fight. But. I should maybe I will have Alyssa take that guy. Just even though he's missing and everything with like that, I'd rather. Actually, would these other characters be able to? Yeah, probably should be able to. And I'm not talking about the damage from Mob, but just like no extra abilities unlocked outside of that, you know. Nice. I wouldn't worry about trying to capture these guys, by the way. I mean, you should have, you've had plenty of chances before, but I'd really just. With the whole idea of Isao possibly being um, uh, killed by these guys, I wouldn't even worry about. Escort missions are not, usually never the best time to worry about capturing Max. Oh, nice. Starting it big and finishing him off there. Huh? 
The only thing I'm, I don't think a Sal moves forward, at least if I remember. I think he always stays back after the initial. Nice getting the, that AP up. Yeah, I think he's. I think he roughly stays there. So. Uh, now here's here's where we have trouble with the. Uh, hopefully they don't activate uh, melee. Well, it, it, with the shield at least it's not too bad. But. I just could keep taking. Okay. Yeah, I think I'll just keep using Alyssa's turn to take out the uh, uh, helicopter. Because I don't want the lays to get past us and start punching us out. Yeah, we don't want to be get too... Oh, all right, I forgot he's piercing. Well, I got that first. Nice. I, just, I forgot I had the, uh, the possibility of getting that ability. That means the piercing damage will be more effective. Can we get more? Yes. Everything's coming up, Ryogo. See, I can beat guys without fam on my team. Okay, I'm not doing as much damage, but still. Because of this defense ability. But. Oh yeah, it's because his uh, melee is really, or melee. His percent, his evade's pretty high. That's why I'm not hitting as much as I'd like. Still did a pretty good amount of damage. Especially, especially because it would have done a lot less if he didn't activate that that defense uh, or the uh, his defense down or whatever cuz i think his defense is like uh, i think for the lay legs it's pretty high if i remember correctly uh, oh no actually it's only 15 huh maybe i think of a different body piece well anyway Probably best to go with shotgun than this, just because. Even though I have the. Uh... Do I want to risk getting punched? I mean, I don't have to be. I don't have to fight. I'm. I'm. I'm just afraid of the melee. Uh, his melee activating because the deck is one shot one of my guys. You know, like I said earlier. I'll just use shield. Because I don't want to move from this position and have the lay circumvent us and attack a, a Sal. Because that is their top priority. Okay, Alyssa, you take out the... take out that guy. You should be able to hit. I think your percentage is like over 100, so there's no miss. You're done, son. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Oh, excellent. I could always use another unit to capture, so I'll leave that alone. So, okay, we should be good for um, this guy. Oh, right, he says piercing. We'll uh, go in for interception. Because he should, now that all the units are... Oh, we might kill him. Well... You ganked my kill, Sal! Jerk. <laughs> um, yeah, shield. You never know. Although, I mean, it, it'll probably rarely activate, but I don't want to take that risk. Got like two missiles left, didn't they? Salvo? Man, she's not activating Salvo for whatever reason. Did I accidentally forget to like? No, she's got. I mean, she's got two Salvos, but she still has it. Eh, oh well, whatever. <clears throat> Ooh, nice spray of fire. Go 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 baby burn baby burn disco and burn. Yeah, my rate of fire units you know, so are definitely. I'm glad I got her five rate of fire to training. It definitely helps with that. I was hoping for one more. Yeah, probably shouldn't use them here, but yeah. 
Just because he won't do as much damage and he didn't activate that defense reduction. Yeah, maybe I should have used a... a oh well. I really need to off screen, maybe grind Kazuki's weapon levels. Those are kind of hard to do in the simulation because that's based off the the strength of the enemy. The simulations never get as strong as your current current um uh, well, uh where you're at currently. Hundred percent, yeah. That can either go really well or really bad depending on on the numbers, you know. But I got pretty lucky there. What do you think you're? What are you thinking? You're too gung ho. On the kettle black, aren't you, uh, uh, Kazuki? Father, he's right. It's only gonna get tougher. Sorry, I didn't mean to hurt you. But thanks to Takagura, the sixth division met up with Rudolph. Now all that's left is to hit the enemy full force. <laughs> Stop talking, fam. No, I'm just kidding. It's not gonna be that easy. There's still a lot left to do. Oh, I never thought I'd hear those words from you. Well, he's, I mean, yeah, he's a he's a main protagonist of these types of games. You never expect him to say something. We should run to Fukushima also. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, we should. I think that's the end of the episode. I think. Um, let's do. Let's check our mail. I might be able to check a website or two. Man, last episode we got like a bunch of like passwords and everything like that. Um, for like all these different websites, I should I should I should go look up on them, but you know, we'll see what happens. I don't, I mean I don't want to take too much time on that, but Oops, no. oh, Lynn got a letter, Quang, Japan. I hear I heard I heard you went to Japan with Alyssa. You continued to fight. The rebels were defeated in Shanghai. We were a while before they reorganized, and I'm going back to them. This is my decision. It's not going to. It's not going to continue my father's legacy. I don't agree with the way this country runs, nor do I agree with how the rebels operate. Aren't you technically the leader? Well, actually, he's the leader in a term of a, as a, as a, representation, but he's not the actual leader. At least if you play the other campaign. Maybe there is no right to way to change the country, but I can't remain ignorant. It's just not me. Lan, Alyssa, I hope to see you again someday. I see. Quang is growing up. Or he might die by the end of this campaign, but I don't think we ever find out what happens to him. It's one of those ambiguous things. I mean, yeah, you'd like to get an answer, but, I mean, it's not the most important thing ever to find out. Well, let me look at my networking stuff and see if, if there's one specific one I want to check. Uh, see, we already did that. That. Check that. Check that. Uh, let me check those. Let me go back to the desktop really quick. Because we found out some information from... Oops. Sorry. Back up to the top. What was that one information we found from... Um, uh, from Moneymaker. That's pretty much, that was pretty much the Spender Diaries Moneymaker. Uh, website. Is that? Let me see. Does that actually? No, that's something different. Um, I wonder if you can. if I can actually check that one. I know there's some websites they mention in these letters and stuff like that, but you can't actually check all of them, if that makes sense. No, there's the... What, that's, uh... No, okay. You can't check that one. Okay, so I can ignore that. Um...
Sorry, I'm uh, trying to look and see if there's any ones I'm specifically... I'm trying to remember which ones I've actually done now. Or taken a look at. I know there's plenty of stuff to check, but it's just... I'm just trying to remember what I've actually done and haven't done. I keep saying that every time I, I play this. I, I keep trying to remember what I've actually checked. Did I... I think I... Did I check this one already? Hmm... The Ravnui Embassy is located east of Shanghai. This district is full of exotic buildings and embassies for other countries. Our embassy features aren't na native to our country and a visitor guide to Ravnui. Feel free to stop by. Ravnui and Ambassador Bal Gorbovsky. The boys only. Um, I think... Well, I'm just going to enter. I'm just going to enter in the, the code for it. I just got that thing booted up now for... Since we're getting closer to the end game, I'm just going to start... Just checking stuff, putting in passwords. What is it? Oh, I'm using the... I'm looking at the wrong one. Uh, why is it that? Hold on. Oops, nope. Actually, uh -huh. let me use the one, maybe. Let me use the one that, um... That, um... Money maker got. I wonder if this. I wonder if the. I wonder if the website I'm using is not not accurate. But weirdly enough, there isn't like a. I mean, there are guides and stuff like that to this game, but you'd be surprised how like how much inaccurate information's in this game and in, in, out there about. Reb, uh, Reb C. Uh, how much inaccurate uh, information there is on this on this game overall? Like, no one's actually. Well, maybe there is. I'm, maybe I'm just not looking hard enough, but. There's a lot of inaccurate information in this, um, uh, uh, about this game. It was Rebzy, right? Okay. Yeah, the thing I'm looking at—I might be looking at the wrong, wrong uh, website or whatever. But yeah, it says something completely different here that I'm looking at. Okay, acquiring Midas technology. Midas technology. Return. Exit password. Oh. Um. Let me. Might not even be on this website I'm looking at. Let's see. Wow, this page doesn't even have the the correct uh, um, the thing I'm looking at. Hold on, and I am definitely not a. trying to type all this in. <laughs> uh, see. Yeah. see. Okay. Yeah, we got this we got this from uh, um uh, the the money maker. I'm just looking it up so I don't have to go back out of the uh, out of the uh, page again and, and look it up. So uh, delete plan M. Access to mice technology. Acquiring mice technology. Plan one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Acquiring mice file one. The plan to steal mice and its creator Emir Klamsky failed. To get Midas past use and inspection, we plan to divide up the parts, but safety concerns over the or radiation control system cancel this plan. <laughs> Sorry about belching on that. The OCU military seized Midas while we were planning transport transport operations. We are investigating its current location. Amir Klamsky is currently heading to Japan with an FI, FAI agent, which now she's in the hands of uh, 
at the time of this, she's in the hands of a, the villain. Uh, acquiring Minus uh, File 2. We failed to acquire Minus once again. We order Lukov to split from the FAI and proceed with retrieval of Minus, which was moved from Japan to the Philippines. The plan failed because the OCU used Minus and Batangas. However, Lukov reported that copies of Minus do exist. He will follow up on this information. Okay, and plan 3. Uh, the JDF's chief of staff, Sasaki, had the original Midas all along. Lukov, who is on his way to join Sasaki, will provide us with the exact location of Midas. Rosavia and Jared were assigned to prevent the USN and Sao Takamura from interfering with our plan. According to Chairman Xi, the DHZ military will join their LST fleet to assist with our Okinawa invasion plan. The DHZ military will fight the JDF, while Jared and Rosavia assassinate the imaginary numbers and retrieve Midas. All right, back to the top. Um, let's see. I don't know if we have the um, got the password for this in the official capacity, but I'm going to do this one anyway. Um, it is a one. It's probably from going to some certain website or going down the rabbit hole that we haven't gotten that I've missed or something like that. But information on members who are dead or scheduled for execution. Serov Warren, dead. Joined the rebel hunters in Batangas. Died after losing control of his monster, which we killed him. Ivan Larzalev. Joined the Hualian rebels after escape. Died while fighting the CIU mercenaries and a real number. I don't... We didn't actually kill him, did we? Didn't someone else... Like, he... In this storyline, we don't actually kill him. He gets killed by someone else off-screen or someone... Or... Yeah, someone... Or... Now... It's been so many weeks since, since that happened. I'm trying to remember if we were there when he died or not. But anyway, he's dead. Amir Klamsky, to be executed. Working with you as an engineer. Currently operating with FAI agent spy uh, Dennis Fakarth. Of course, Dennis is dead at this point. Lishiana uh, Klamsky, to be executed. Working with DAT agent Li Hui Fong and DGF Colonel Isao Takamura's son. Yeah. Uh, okay. And then... Oh, and this uh, the information you get here is slightly different if you're um, if you're playing the uh, Amir campaign or the Alicia Alyssa campaign or the USN DHS campaign. If you're playing the Alyssa storyline or uh, Alyssa storyline or Alyssa sorry Amir's Emma storyline, then it says that she's working with you instead. And Alyssa is um, uh, escaped uh, from the base and is working with us. You know what I mean? It, it changes slightly, but anyway. Um, Alright, one more and then we'll call it an episode because I think I went a little over on time. Yeah. Um, let's see. The password for that one is... Oh, th this is the one where we just put in names. That's right. Okay. Um, yeah, you can just put in your the person you want to know. Whoops. You. Li Hei Wei Fong. Um, code AAX001, real number. The first real number created in 2080. Real numbers were inferior to the imaginary numbers in many ways. However, since the real numbers were easier to control than imaginary numbers, an equal number of both models were created. After the downsizing research, all real numbers, including this model, were executed. Yeah, except we know he's still alive at this point, but yeah. Alright, let's see what Lukov, uh, Lukov's uh, little thing says. Um, code TAX001, imaginary number. Real name, Plevi Z Vesi Vici. The first imaginary number created in 2084, executed at 25, despite abilities uh, superior to previous models. According to Ball, he was executed upon confirmation of psychological imbalance. He worked for the FAI for four years before the execution and provided vital information to our country. Uh, so they were given false information about what actually happened to him. Hmm. And Ball. I think that's the last person you can actually get. Obviously, he's dead by this point. Ball Gorovsky, Ravnui Ambassador to the DHZ, former director of Orsha Branch of Ravnui National Lab Laboratory. 2047, born in Yemalk. 2069, graduated Yemalka University, began working for the Senate Department. 2078, transferred to the Ministry of Science. 2088, uh, appointed director of Orsha Lab, headed for the Real Number and Imaginary Number projects. 2110, assigned, reassigned post due to the failure of both projects. 2111, assigned to DHZ as Ravnui Ambassador. That's it. 
All right, let's uh, quit and get out of here. All right, well, we got some information on stuff we already know, but hey, better than nothing at all, am I right? Okay, yeah, that took me a little bit longer than I expected, but that's fine. All right, well, we've uh, we've saved a south, so now we've got our leader and our and our people together. Now it's time to take the fight to Lukov. Will the fight be successful? Do they got more tricks up their sleeve? Find out next time in the next episode of Front Mission 3. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.